this video we're gonna see how to easily navigate between files uh, in vim so let's say we have a directory like this and we let's open up a file in vim so we open progressive speed up.c and now we want to go to another file in the same directory so uh, we can uh, do something like this using fcf which makes it really easy for us to uh, navigate between files and it also shows a small preview uh, on the right hand side and you can add files to the buffer by pressing tab so right now i'm at jacobi underscore ohm dot c and you can add that to the buffer and let's also add optimize dot c so uh, we can press enter now and this will add both of these files to the buffer so if you press colon b and uh, look at the options on the left bottom you'll see all these options so it's quite neat so let's try uh, let's see how to set this up so I'll go to my vimrc file and in the vimrc file I right now have uh, let me set up the numbers uh, I have uh, in the first line call plugin begin vim plug this line does is it uh, initiates uh, the block the where I can install my plugins and call plug end ends that block in between those uh, in between those lines I have the, the lines that will uh, essentially uh, initiate the plugin and the, uh, the plugin that I'll I'm gonna use let me just show the uh, github repo briefly where uh, the plugin is from so this is from fzf dot fzf vim and as I said using this one plugin is as easy as adding these two lines and after adding these two lines all you got to do is you got to so first uh, write this file and then source it uh, so we are in this file so we can do source percent to source this file and then followed by uh, plug install plug install command dot found let's go back plug install and then uh, it's already installed in my system so that's why it, uh, it shows uh, as if it's installed so now um, yeah so now to navigate between files let's open a file in the current directory in my system so we're gonna open the similar file readme here and to open the file uh, we need to do colon files this will open the files in my current directory so as you can see we have all the files listed and we have a beautiful preview here so the earlier one that you saw was from my server so that why it didn't have a preview and this one has uh, a better looking preview uh, and to open a file which is tracked by git you, you need to do colon g files so it'll, it'll open all the files that are only tr uh, like that are tracked by git so to prove this we can see like uh, I have a file called test.py which is not in the git so we can see git status it will show you it, it is not in the git and it won't show it won't show up in my g files thing g files yeah but if i add that file uh, to my uh, test.py maybe it will let's see uh, jacobi serial and g files yeah now it does so uh, this is the easy way when you have multiple files in your system uh, which uh, you want to go through and you know probably only want to go through the files that are tracked by git so you can use g files and uh, you you can probably use uh, shortcuts to set this up so it's not convenient every time to type colon files to uh, traverse different files in your system so I have set up a few shortcuts you can um, uh, set up shortcuts uh, according to your own convenience I'll share mine here so what I have set up is uh, let me just navigate there it's yeah so it's these lines let me just number them so it's line 78 so 78 is common but um, line 79 to essentially line 83 so let's copy these lines and uh, open back the vimrc file uh, and 
let's put them there. So what these lines do is, uh, first we are mapping colon files. So we are mapping, mapping uh, the word colon files to leader and the letter F. So the leader key here, be, my leader key is F, a space, sorry. But usually your leader key would be backslash. So I, I, I'm pressing backslash right now uh, in my screen. You can see in the bottom right. Uh, similarly, I have um, remapped uh, G files to space gf gf being g files not girlfriend and it also shows the buffer so a leader and b will show me the list of buffers so let's write these files and <coughs> and source it so right now my leader would be backslash because i haven't remapped in this memrc file to remap this all you got to do is um you go to uh, so map leader and space so line 74 to 75 so here i'm mapping the leader key which is backslash right now to space bar let me just copy to the correct wimrc file and then add this after this line and now my leader key would be spacebar after I source this file. So let me press space so you can see the space bar being pressed but right now I'm just navigating through the letters but if I press escape go to normal mode and press space F it will open up the files as you can see. So it's really amazing how easily you can navigate through these files. And um, and uh, let's try open gf will open the files that are fragged by git only and let's try space b will open up the buffers the buffers being the files that are that i have right now so to op go to one of these buffers i can press uh, one or two depending on what number is showing so right now i'm in vimrc and if i want to go to copy of it that i created earlier i want to press one and enter it will take me there that's it. Uh, thank you.